<laughs> Life is beautiful. It's wonderful to wake up alive. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> well, today we are going to talk about the moon in cancer. Cardinal water. I love talking about cancer. I love talking about all the signs of the zodiac. Because so that I see the beauty of God in each sign of the zodiac. In every fashion of life. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to go and we jump right in because we have a lot to cover as we do with all the signs, you know. It's impossible to cover everything in 50 minutes. There's got to be at least eight parts if I'm going to really talk about the moon sign. But this is a business, so you're going to have to get chartered to know the rest. This, but, 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 but what I give you is enough for you to go on. You don't need to be chartered if you don't want to or if you can't afford it. You don't need to do that with, with, with what I give you. That should keep you on your way. That should, that should take you on your way. Where you can research, find out for yourself and, and, and work towards. Or look for an astrologer that can work with you that you can afford and can work with you, you know. Or you do it yourself. I'm about to design some classes in astrology, uh, streamlining online. And for those of you who are interested, I'm going to talk about that next month after the retrograde is over because we're in a retrograde. Remember, Mercury is retrograde. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know, The People's Astrologer, and also Fernando Prudhomme because I got two Instagram pages, The People's Astrologer and Fernando E. Prudhomme. And, 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 and I talk about these faces. Uh, it's something that I don't discuss on YouTube. YouTube, I do. I deal with the long videos, but on Instagram, I go into more specific stuff that you can ch that you can chew and deal with. You know. So, understand that. Um, how can I put it? I, 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 oh, no, no. I gotta have a little bit of nature because you know my guys are telling me put a little nature in your video because you know. All right, so let's put a little nature in the video. All right, all right, let's do that. You know, because the guys, they like to participate. <laughs> all right, so, but this is too much in the way. I don't know. Let, uh, let, 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 uh, okay, uh, let's do that. Let me do that, okay? All right? Okay. So, um, <clears throat> understand that with the morning cancer, we're dealing, look, we are going to put this aside. No, 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 no. I'll do another video where I will talk more about you guys. Um, understand that when we're dealing with the moon in Cancer, the moon is in its, um, it's at home in Cancer. Okay? It's in its dignity. We call that dignity. Okay? If the moon was in the fourth house, which belongs to Cancer, we call that accidental dignity. Okay? And then, of course, when it falls in the other planets or houses and signs, there, there are definitions about that, too. But we are not going to concern ourselves with that. Today, we are going to talk about the morning cancer as it pertains to the man and the man's chart. I like to talk about the man's chart first. Because we know that women are emotional. Women are, I'm not going to say predictable. But if you want to figure out a woman and she wants you to figure her out, she would. There's cooperation when it comes to the human female. But when it comes to the human male, he's not too much inclined to cooperate. He's solitary, private, exclusive. He's taught by our Western culture not to show emotion or express emotions and feelings. We got to keep that up front for me to do this, okay? I'm not going to bash the man for his lack of emotional um, fluidity or transparency. Society teaches men not to respond or even nurture that part of us, which is emotional in nature, our inner feminine. That's 
fucked up. And who's responsible? The church. Who's second responsible in endorsing the doctrines of the church? Our government. Not just our government, but the government of all the world. Because it's, it's an old grand, you know, it's, it's a brotherhood. They say separation of church, church and state. That's bullshit. They tell us that. But behind closed doors, the church and state jerk off with each other and lie together. I'm telling you that, my nigga, for real. For real, for real. I'm telling you that. Let me be thug. No, let me be thug. You know, that's for real. I'm telling you some real shit. Some real shit about that. Okay? So, without further ado, let's jump right in. And let's talk about the mooning cancer. Cardinal water. And how it pretends to the moon in a cancer man's chart. Okay? Let me just say off the bat, a cancer moon man gets his emotional security through nurturing and being nurtured, okay? Through mothering and being mothered. Now, that's deep right there. Let's pause for a minute and consider that. A little bourbon with lime, no ice. I know, it's 8.30 in the morning, but I didn't drink all day. I was nursing my tooth and taking care of it. I'm very Virgo when it comes to my health. A little bourbon, wash it in, it quells the pain and gives me a little buzz. Why not? <laughs> all right. So, understand that with that phrase that I just gave you, okay, uh, the security of the moon in cancer, man, for you ladies who have a man who's got the moon in cancer, you want to keep him and keep him in check, this is what you do. You got to nurture him. You got to pamper him. You got to baby him. You got to you gotta mother him. And although being a nurturing mother and being nurtured by a nurturing mother is a wonderful thing, it doesn't feel right when you are a woman and you got a man that you want to fuck. And you and you want him to look at you as a woman to fuck. And he's a mooning cancer man. Guess what? Now, let me tell you. The mooning cancer makes a man very sexual. Oh, he's horny all the time. All the time. But let me tell you something. For him to... And he could be the ultimate and consummate womanizer. The womanizer falls in the mooning Gemini and the mooning Cancer. These are the men who are the womanizers. And usually when you have men and women that function in this modality, you better believe that there's some kind of sexual trauma going on that causes a disbalance of these emotional feelings and affectations. So, you have to decide very early as a man with the moon in cancer. What, and this also goes with the sun in cancer, men. Okay? Being nurtured, and being mother is something that the morning cancer man loves. If you, if you meet a man with the morning cancer, if you want to get him in bed you know, and keep him there, be his mother. Mother him. Nurture him like a mother. Fuss over him. Pamper him. Do everything but bathe him. And some men will love that too. Why not? Tell me. You will have him emotionally in the palm of your hand. Okay? I gotta take a drink and a shot on that one. Because there are some women that might take advantage of that. 
especially if the man is young and the woman is older, like a cougar. These men will fall in a spider web where they can't get out. And the woman will just be sucking their dicks and taking their essence at will. And the men will love it, of course, because we are men of sensation and visual creatures and we love sensation and sex 24-7. If we can have it 24-7, we'll be happy. So understand that the moon in Cancer in a man's chart is going to make him extremely sexual. A horny toad. A whore. You think Pisces is a whore? Arch typically it is. If, if Pisces is the whore, then Cancer is the freak. A freaky dick. Don't sleep on Cancer. Sanka is freakier in the bedroom than Scorpio and Pisces combined. But Cancer, being a card in the water, keeps it low key. <laughs> cancer, I got your number. <coughs> I got your number, Cancer. I ain't mad at you. It's all good. It's all good. Trust me, it's good. I had a cancer woman when I was 21. Her name was Lisbeth, Puerto Rican. I'm 51. To this day, I still remember her. So you can imagine. So don't sleep on cancer women. The cancer man, not so much. The cancer man requires being led. He's a big baby. He's not the baby like in Aries, but he's still a baby. And he needs to, and any woman can pull his pants and get him in the bed. Like the Leo man. The Leo man can't help flattery. Any woman can take him into bed. You know, he's the ultimate and consummate hustler. Male prostitute. You think Virgo is? It begins in Leo and it culminates in Virgo. <laughs> All right? So understand that, you know, there's a germinal seed that begins somewhere. So when we're dealing with the moon in Cancer in a man's chart, wait until we get with the female. You're dealing with a man who is a horny toad. Pan, the man with the dick in his hand. Kind of like uh, uh, the moon in Leo, which we'll talk about in a little while. You know? And uh, and uh, sexual deviance and decadence and kickiness of Virgo and Scorpio and Sag, the Don Juan of the Zodiac. These are all, you know, guys that are horny and sexy and kinky that will fuck anybody, any man, women, you know, some might even fuck animals. Oh, oh God, I hope not. Bestiality ain't my thing. I hope not, you know, I hope we've evolved from that. <laughs> but it does happen. So, you know, the sexual energy in the moon in Cancer is intense. It vibrates with a rhythm that it's explosive. We see the same energy in the moon in Taurus, the exaltation of the moon. So, you know, this combination of the, of the moon in Cancer is the most sensuous, most. Oh! Oh! I, I, I literally have to be a human female to explain it to you. But I'm not a human female, so I can't explain it to you. I have to have some of my female deities come in me and explain it to you. Because I certainly can't explain it. But it's deep. Deep. Okay? So, the Cancer Moon Man gets his emotional security by being nurtured. Now, being nurtured and being mothered are two separate things. When you are nurtured, the inner you is being developed emotionally, satisfied emotionally. 
when you're being nurtured and the inner basic needs that a human need and that a human requires emotionally to be a perfected, adulterated human being requires that the emotional body of that individual is nurtured to the level where he can be a functional human being as an adult. This is part of gestational development. And cancer and the moon in cancer rules gestational development. And that also means the emotional body, the spiritual body, and the physical body. The germinal phase of evolution of the physical body of any and every human being or animal and plant species on our planet. The moon governs and controls these primal and primordial forces of nature. So understand that the moon in cancer man has emotional memory that goes back many, many past lives. It can even go back to the history of the planet and the beginning of the Big Bang. This is true also of the moon in cancer in a woman's chart. So the moon in cancer represents the germinal seed and the memory template of the cosmos, God, and anything beyond even outside of our own imagination. It says in the Bible, the kingdom of God has not reached the imagination of man. That's deep. It's in the Bible. It's in, um, it, I believe it's in, uh, I forgot the book in the Bible and where that's mentioned. But the kingdom of God has not reached the imagination of man. That's a fucking deep, deep statement. So we don't have a fucking clue about the real nature of God, of the cosmos, or the universe. And cancer is the basin, the seat of foundation of all that is, all that was, and all that will be. It's deep. It's deep. This kind of wisdom of the past is inherent in every cancer man and cancer woman and those with the moon in cancer. They are the record keepers, the, rep the record keepers and the stewardships, custodians of the early history and mystery of God and humanity and even our planet. These people make perfect cultural anthropologists, archaeologists, historians. And I think I'm a very good anthropologist, cultural anthropologist. And I'm a Virgo, so you know I might be on point. But with cancer or the moon in cancer, yo, Babe Ruth, bat that shit out the fucking court. Out the fucking court. Babe Ruth, if you know anything about baseball, then Babe Ruth, for those of you millennials and those of you are, who are younger. So understand that the moon in cancer is extremely powerful. It represents the ebb and flow and the germinal impulse of our planet. When the spring comes, the flowers sprout. The earth becomes alive after its hibernation in winter. Our planet is a living, breathing essence, entity. No different than any human being, animal, mineral, or plant. It's just a, a different language ascribed to each creation. And the impulse and rhythm of creation of every species and kingdom that is in our planet. This is no different than the kingdom species of our own inner nature as human beings. And that includes our pets and animals. So, what is the significance and the relevancy of the moon 
in cancer. Cancer rules gestation and gestational cycles, phases and eclipses and lunations. All of these phenomenology of the moon ascribe to different portals of action and opportunities awarded to each individual human being and to each faction of nature, whether it be plant, mineral, animal, or what have you. So the moon in Cancer represents a holistic hologram of the totality of creation that can be usable and workable at a functional level of a human being. That doesn't mean, though, that that is actually true when it comes to other factions of life, when it comes to the moon in Cancer. Okay? So, going further with the moon in Cancer, I mean, I hope I've made my point. With the moon in Cancer, talking about the man, he wants to save you or he wants you to save him, or preferably both. He will have his share of mood strings. Oh, God. Be prepared. You will either hate this man, or you will love him, or respect him, or revere him. But the moon in cancer man, he could be an asshole. And make you feel like you don't belong to the clan. Because with the moon in cancer, with the man and the woman, but more so with the man than the woman, he can be clannish. And it's about the family and the tribe and no outsider belongs. And he don't give a shit whether you've been with... Listen, I... I've been involved in a relationship with my partner, and he has a lot of family members that are cancers. Most of them ignore the shit out of me. They don't even talk to me. And I could give a fuck. And they know that too, because I give that I give off that energy as they give off the energy of indifference. Because cancer can do that part excellence. And so can Taurus. Taurus and Cancer, that can make you feel like you don't exist and ignore the shit out of you. Fuck both of y'all. You know, Virgo will surpass that. You know, so, um, but these are the defense mechanisms of both Taurus and Cancer, especially with the women. But you can see it in the men too. And it comes across in the bitchy nature when it comes to men with the money in Cancer. Because there could be just as much bitches as women can be hoes. And I'm not missing any words, but it is what it is. So when it comes to uh, the moon in Cancer Man, if you don't want to deal with the emotional upstreams and bullshit that they come with, you stay away from them. Because they're not going to change for you, nor will they apologize for their emotional ups and downs. So the best thing you can do is ignore it or ignore them or have nothing to do with it altogether. Because they certainly are not going to be moved by your indifference or your action or inaction in any way or in either way. And I got to give the Cancer Man or the Cancer Moon Man credit for that. That is a strength in itself. And the Cancer Moon Woman also possesses this. And let me tell you, I love strength. I love any kind of strength. And these people can be remarkably strong. And there ain't nothing you're going to fucking do to change their opinion about you should they formulate one about you. So the moon in cancer is going to be rather bigoted concerning its likes and likes and its protective nature when it comes to family and friends. Because when it comes to the moon in cancer in a man's chart, it's all about his family. He's super sensitive, so be careful what you say to him. Especially about your relationship and your feelings for him. 
he will hold on to his past hurts and he may need some therapy from you to help him let go of all the past relationships that had hurt him. And trust me, all of his past relationships have hurt him. Even if they didn't, in his head, he thinks that they did. Cancer is complex, especially the man. They got shit with them. And we're 18 seconds past time. We got to end here and we'll have to go into part two.